Hi, Mums is here and I'm still sat as you can see with my chin between my knees almost because the chair lift's gone and I've still not got around to fixing it or sorting out another chair. Right, so what have I done this week? Apart from going blind so I can't see without these on properly. Um, right, what have I done? I've done a couple of episodes of uh, well, walkthroughs of uh, Criminal Minds. I'm a bit disappointed with that because there's no sound effects, really. Only kajings and dings sort of thing. So I'll plod on and uh, it's not bad. I've played better, I've played far worse. But yeah, what else? I've got Windows 10. Trying it out, see if I like it. Do I like it? Not sure. I do like some aspects of it, um, but I went a bit daft because my graphics card updated the day before I got Windows 10. So, but everything was unky dory. Come to install Windows 10 and it says something about resolutions, which I ain't got a clue where it were on about, so I just went past that and downloaded. Got it, and my screen, oh my goodness, when it had all completed, I'd got a three inch border round my screen. You know, open browsers, I might have well had a 10 inch monitor for what I could see. And then Quasi, you know, infinite wisdom knows best, knows better than mommy, yes. She says, have you upgraded your, updated your graphics card drivers? Because it won't have the Windows 10 drivers on it. Well done, yes. No, I hadn't updated them. Now it does work. So, yeah, I'm happy with that bit. So, yeah, there's all these little icons on that I didn't have before. Which I haven't got a clue. I thought it had put Internet Explorer back on because I hate Internet Explorer. But no, it's something called... What is it? It's not Internet Explorer, I know that. But uh, it's not putting up what they are but uh, yeah so scribble on but uh, this uh, task viewer I like the task view because I can put things on two different desktops sort of thing it's like having two monitors that I did like crazy showed me that last night the start menu Wow um, it's totally different yeah play and explore it's got the calendar on it uh, mail and Twitch coming up on Twitch I'm not quite sure it is it's telling me what's oh I see it's telling me what emails I've got sort of um, apparently I've got 19 emails I think that means and it's telling me the title of it so what's that one it's got a section with my photos in oh yeah what i thought was internet explorer is microsoft edge now i've not looked at that but i suppose i better i have got cortana which is voice voice activation for uh, like search which didn't actually install it didn't it installed but it didn't turn it on on mine for some reason so we had to turn it on last night and uh, I can say into the microphone once I'd set the mic up on it, um, find something or other, and it found it for me. Oh, yeah, that were it. Open notepad, that's what we did, and it opened a notepad page up for me. Doesn't close it though, I tried that, doesn't close it. Uh, it's got the weather on it, it's 23 degrees at the moment. Uh, phone companion, I'm not looked at that. Uh, there's a box for Twitter, there's store, and that looks like, you know, it's got Candy Crush Saga in the start for some reason. Uh, yeah, and then they've got Play and Explore, Xbox, I'm not, I don't have an Xbox, Groove Music, Films and TV, Microsoft Solitaire Connect Collection, yeah, I play Solitaire occasionally, uh, Xbox Live Minecraft game, I've not got Xbox, so that doesn't matter. Flipboard, I'm not quite sure what that is. 
so Lloyd's first half profit rises that sounds like stocks on news it's this news section uh, one note get office I've not got office so yeah oh I've just scrolled it and I found all the other things that I'd lost before then there's the usual bits on that that the only thing I didn't like at the moment is um, I had to sign in to get the Cortina thingy up I had to sign into Microsoft which is me email uh, email it's me email ID and password so now when I boot the PC up I've got to put the password in I've still got to find yet how to turn that off because I do not like putting passwords in when I boot my PC up so yeah so that's a quick overview of uh, the new Windows 10 yeah um, then my usual bars are on the bottom I've got a lot more um, boxes on the bottom and on the left and then I've got my hidden icons as usual on the right which I forgot to close down the time not using today oh my audio managers come up this time uh, OneDrive I don't want my phone in there um, speakers are at 100% yes I hope they are and then I've got my Realtek audio manager and that's my network safely remove hard drive it always puts this up safely remove hard drive I have no external stuff in I've no USB plugged in or anything but it still tells me to so the only thing I can come up with because I'm a dumb I'm dummy is it's the Bluetooth thing that's in the back for me mouse so yeah so up to now I'm finding okay I'm not had any uh, audio problems like I've heard one or two other people have had that uh, they've downloaded Windows 10 and they have no sound oh all I can say is they've either not got the sound set up correctly or they don't know what they're doing which is what my case is usually but I've had no sound issues whatsoever so I'm quite happy with that and I'm just it's just getting used to it I suppose up to now I like it so we'll see what happens if I don't like it I have 30 days to revert it back or I'll format my PC and it goes back to Windows 7 anyway so yeah so apart from that nothing new uh, mum's still here and she wasn't very well the other day so she had a day in but she's off out visiting today she goes back next week so I'll be fitting these in as and when I can because I don't think she'll want to listen to me waffle on you probably don't want to listen to me waffling on either but tough you've got me so right I think that's it for today so see you next time bye bye